ultra realistic water, realistic skies. Everything is just beautiful with these shaders. And these are Kappa shaders in Minecraft 1.20.4. So I'm going to teach you how to download and install these shaders so you can get it working right away. Let's get started with this guy. The first step for downloading and installing Kappa shaders. I hope that's how you pronounce them is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install Kappa shaders. Now, as you can see here in the requirements, it does require that you have either Optifine or Iris. However, if you already have one of those, then you're good. You can keep watching this guide. And if you don't have any of those, don't worry. Just watch the video until the end because I'm going to show you how to get one of those after we download Kappa shaders and stuff. So once you're here in the guide, go ahead and scroll down and click where it says download. OK, of course, you could read through the guide and look at the screenshots and everything. But if you just want to make this quick, click on download, that will redirect over here where you could download the most recent version. And as you can see in here, it says it's 1.20.1. But don't worry, because this will work with Minecraft 1.20.4. So not to worry, this will work with the newest version of Minecraft. Of course, if you're watching this in the future and you already see 1.20.4 in here, then download that one. OK, anyways, go ahead and click on the little three dots in here and click download file that will redirect you over here, where after five seconds, the download will start automatically. In my case, though, it asked me what to say, but for most of you guys, it's just going to download right away. And once you have the file, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now that we have Kappa shaders, if you already have Optifine installed, like I said, you're watching this and you already have either Optifine or Iris, then you're good. You could just add these Kappa shaders to your shaders, which if you already have Optifine or Iris, I assume you know how to add these shaders and you're good. You're done. You already have Kappa. That's it. Good. Thank you for watching the video. Leave a like. But if you don't have either Optifine or Iris, then we're going to install Optifine next. To install Optifine, either click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Optifine, or you could use the Kappa shaders and just click on Optifine and that'll redirect you to the Optifine side in here. Okay. Now, again, this is a written guide, very, very in depth on how to download and install Optifine. However, if you just want to follow along and do this real quick, let's scroll down and click where it says download Optifine here. Keep in mind that Optifine will require you to have at least Java 17 on your computer in order for it to work. So if you don't have Java 17, I'm going to leave a link in the description on how to download install Java 17. Super simple. Anyways, once you're in the Optifine website, obviously we're doing this for Minecraft 1.20.4. So we're going to click here in preview version and click download. However, if when you come to Optifine, you already see download here right below 1.20.4, then click on that button. But as of right now, we're only allowed to download the preview. Click on download. That'll redirect you over here where we have to wait at least five seconds and then a button labeled as a skip will appear in the top right. Click on that button and then click download finally for Optifine. That'll start the download automatically. As you saw in my case, it's asking me what to save it, but for you guys, it's going to download right away. Once we have the Optifine file downloaded, the Optifine 1.20.4, and God, I hope I'm not going too fast. I know I talk very fast sometimes in the tutorials, guys, but it's just because I like to go straight to the point. You know, I don't like to be one of those guys that just makes the guy just like 20 minutes if when it's like a two minute thing. Anyways, once we have Optifine, like mine just finished downloading, go ahead and put it in your desktop right next to your Kappa shaders. And you might have noticed that your Kappa shaders are in a zip file. Don't worry, you don't have to unzip it. Okay, we're going to leave it as a zip file. Now make sure that you close your Minecraft launcher as well as your Minecraft game and go ahead and launch Optifine by double clicking on it, the installer. That will open this little menu here where all we have to do is click install and wait for Optifine to install. Now, while Optifine is installing, I do have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're trying to create your own server, either for Java or Bedrock to play with your friends, a server that is open 24 seven, that you have customer service, you have anything that you need. You could even create a server with mod packs. You could access the server console through your phone, which I think is insane. You could be a Walmart and you could kick people out, change the settings, stop your server, whatever you want to do. Use the first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex Hosting. And now let's get back into the tutorial. As we can see, Optifine already finished. And all we have to do now is click OK in the Optifine successfully install uh, window in here. And then we could even delete the Optifine installer. If we head over to our Minecraft launcher now, go ahead and open it. You should see Optifine selected automatically. And if you don't see Optifine in here, just head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Because if you don't have modded selected, you won't see Optifine. Anyways, once we have Optifine, go ahead and click on play and it might come up with a little pop up saying, are you sure you want to play modern Minecraft, blah, blah, blah. Just click that you understand the risks and then click on play again and wait for Optifine to open. As you can see, mine is loading. And once the game has opened through the Optifine instance, go ahead and click on single player. I guess we could launch a world and then test this out on the world. Add the Kappa shaders in a world just to see how they look. So you just go ahead and launch any world. If you want to do this in multiplayer, you totally can. However, I do recommend it that you do it in your own server and you could create a server using the first link in the description with Apex Hosting. Anyways, once you're in a world, as you can see right here, I'm already using shaders, but these are not Kappa shaders. These are complementary Unbound, which we have videos on the channel on how to install. So if you want to install complementary Unbound, go ahead and watch that video next. Anyways, once you're in the world, go ahead and press escape, click on options, click on video settings, head over to shaders. And then here, you want to click on shaders folder. That is going to open a folder that probably will be empty for most of you. 
or if you have any other file in here, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. And what we're going to do is actually drag and drop Kappa. I already had it in here because I was trying this tutorial earlier before I recorded it. But once we have this folder, we're going to drag and drop Kappa, the shader that we downloaded earlier, the zip file into this folder. Go and drag and drop that zip file in here, close this folder, head back into the game, and you should see Kappa appear in here. And I really hope that's how you pronounce it. Once you have it in here, go ahead and click on it. Give it a second for it to load. Okay. Once you click on it, it's going to take a little bit. As you can see, mine is still loading. And sometimes, depending on your graphics card or on your whole computer, it could take like a minute or two. So just give it some time. It might freeze your computer. And then once you're done, you could just click done, done, done and come back to the game. And as you can see, yep, Kappa shaders installed. Look at that sky. It just looks beautiful. Look at the water. It looks beautiful. Of course, we're using Optifine so we could obviously zoom in. Look at the water. It just looks so realistic. Anyways, that is pretty much how to download and install Kappa shaders for Minecraft 1.20.4. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.